This video demonstrates how to edit subtitles on YouTube and keep your course videos ADA compliant. I'm Cheryl Colin with the CTLE. YouTube automatically captions your video when you upload it, and that little CC button will be available to your students while they're watching it. But sometimes YouTube doesn't quite pick up what you say and translates it incorrectly, like this example that I'm showing on my screen right now. Also, it doesn't capitalize anything or punctuate, so you have one run-on sentence for your whole video that may obscure your meaning. It's best to go into your YouTube account and edit those subtitles. Here on YouTube, let's assume you've uploaded a video. Go to your icon for your account and choose YouTube Studio. This takes you to your YouTube Studio dashboard. And then on the left, click on subtitles. Locate the video that you need to edit the captions for. For me, it's this one. In the column for languages, you'll see that there's a drop down arrow and one language. When I drop the arrow down, I can see that it's the English automatic and the automatic means these are the subtitles that YouTube created for me. If I go all the way over to the right into the subtitles column, I see the option to duplicate and edit those automatic subtitles. So I'll do that. You end up in a screen that looks like this, but it's a lot easier to read and edit if you click assign timings. That will divide all of your words into where they're going to appear on your video. Now you can do things like click into a box and correct and punctuate. So this is the end of my first sentence. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I wanna show you that whatever caption I'm on up here shows up in the timeline at the bottom as highlighted blue. If there's ever a place where I'm not exactly sure what I really said, I can click in that area. The video on the right will go to that point in time and that caption will be highlighted blue and if I play back, I can listen to what I said and go ahead and make corrections. So like I said, I won't finish this whole thing, but you would go through all of these and just make sure that they accurately represent what you said and that you correct any errors. And when you're finished, you can save your draft or publish it. Most likely you'll be finished and just publish. So now on this video, you can see that there's English, which I've identified as my video language. And I have the option to continue to edit and I could republish. Or if I need to remove these and start over, I can go to the options menu and either unpublish, download, rename, or delete. I'm going to delete those because I didn't finish. <laughs> so I don't want that to be published. Uh, just to show you, um, once you have finished and you know your captions are good and accurate, like I have done for this video, you can come in and actually remove the automatic captions completely. So I'm going to hit delete. This is a best practice because the automatic captions are the ones that come up first. Your students would actually have to select the alternative captions that are correct by clicking on the settings while they're playing the video and choosing the captions. So uh, this way, if you delete these inaccurate ones, the ones that come up automatically will be the ones that you took the time to correct. And that's it. That's how to edit subtitles on YouTube. Go forth and caption. I want to give a quick shout out to Lisa Moore, who actually made this exact video before I did. YouTube ruined that by changing the user interface. So my video just updates this great one that Lisa already made.